We are out in front of the Environmental Learning Center right here on Wabasso Island. We're in front of the gift shop. We're about to go inside. This place looks beautiful, though. It looks like paradise. It really does. And my daughters are excited. Ready to go, girls? Yeah. All right. So let's get ready to go on into the Environmental Learning Center. Here we are in our entry pavilion or our welcome center and we have a few touchable exhibits in here and we also have a really nice gift shop. So when people come to visit on campus to tour around and see our 64 acre island campus, they start here. They meet our volunteer greeter in, the, in this building and the volunteer greeter orients them to all the different things they can do on campus. We have field guides that they can purchase to make their experience out on campus a lot more educational. We have backpacks with items in it that can be checked out. Tell us a little more about uh, this walkway here. Uh, this is an example of one of our elevated boardwalks that wind through our campus. So when people come for a visit, they could bring their picnic lunch and explore the campus on the boardwalks. We have native plant gardens because when the campus was first uh, created, we came in and we, and we removed all of the exotic vegetation. And then very slowly we replanted using Florida native plants. And that's one of the educational thrusts that we have in our programs is the value of native plants. So when people come on campus, they can see how beautiful it is to restore your yard using native plants. And by doing that, you use less water, less fertilizer, less pesticides, and you can be living more environmentally friendly. When people come on campus, they have the opportunity to explore on their own, reading the interpretive signs and our field guides, as well as being able to sign up for one of our organized programs. But we always think it's important for people to know that they can come explore on their own. We have a 360 degree view of Wabasso Island. Uh, and you know, it's a spectacular view. And um, this is also an example, Julian, of our audio tour. This is tour stop number nine of our audio tour. So you can dial this phone number on your cell phone and you hear a message. And we have 13 different stops on campus, which makes it, again, another educational experience when you're visiting our campus. And what we're seeing is having my daughter, Jana, put this to the test. We depend on donors and members and visitors just like you. Thanks for visiting and taking our audio tour. Is that cool or what? We're by the water now and I want you to tell us a little more about where we're at and what's going on here. This is our canoe dock and we offer canoe excursions on a regular basis. We have trained volunteers who serve as canoe guides. So people go out in a group and they go out into the Indian River Lagoon and they learn all about the Indian River Lagoon ecosystem. Now the guided tour, how far out do they go into this lagoon? Because obviously the lagoon is huge. Yeah, it, it depends on the weather conditions. Our guides are very good at, at deciding the best way to go. Sometimes they go through, we have trails through the mangroves. Sometimes they go into open water. Entirely depends on the weather. What animals can they see out here? Oh gosh, they may see manatees, dolphins, certainly different types of birds, um, crabs, never can tell. We also have pontoon boat excursions. And some of them are on the St. Sebastian River where you typically do see alligators. Wow. That's beautiful. And, and to think of that, you, you can get all that here. Always visit our website, which is discoverelc.org. And we always have all of our programs listed on our website. So that's the best thing to do, discoverelc.org. Now we're inside the Discovery Station and we have obviously an aquarium with some beautiful looking fish. Tell us a little more about some of these fish you have here. Well, actually, I think the important thing to know about these fish is that they are all from the Indian River Lagoon. So the exhibits and what you're seeing here in our, our Discovery Station relate to the Indian River Lagoon, either the plants or the animals of the Indian River Lagoon. They're native fish then? They're native fish, right. This is our touch tank, okay. and Miss Sherry is one of our volunteers, and she's talking about some of the critters in the touch tank. We're holding a pencil urchin, and he's one of the guys that helps clean up the algae in the Indian River Lagoon. And if you look, he's got a beautiful star on his back. And his bottom is his top, and his top is his bottom. We had a great time today, Holly. We were here, and, and we saw the, the perch, 
got to walk along the beautiful boardwalk. We got to see the canoes, the the think tank, the touch tank. What is it called? Touch tank. Touch tank. <laughs> touch tank. See, I'm learning. I, environmental Learning Center, and that works even for me. So in closing, tell them a little something that you might want to tell them that we didn't already mention. We are open for visitation Tuesday through Sunday, and the first Saturday of every month, we are free to everyone. So the entire family can come out with, for no charge. So that's an important uh, message, I think, to get across. So we hope you'll come back for another visit. We will. We will, and this is a great place for the entire family to come and spend the day. All right, thank you for watching Sebastian Plus. I'm Julian Maldonado from the Environmental Learning Center or ELC with Holly Dill. No, crabs don't go up by the sun. They're in the water somewhere. And these guys over here. Dolphins walking, dolphins walking. Hey. There you go. Thank you.